Hey everyone, it's me again, Rochelle. I just wanted to encourage you if you're still having trouble in Algebra 1. One thing to keep in mind is that you can represent one problem in many different ways. Our teachers call this multiple representations. So what I want to show you right now, I want to give you an equation and I want you to represent it in different ways. Remember, you can represent it as an equation, a verbal description, a table, or a graph. Let's check it out. So from the top of my head, let's say I wanted to use the equation y is equal to 2x plus 2. Okay? Now remember, this is equation form. The technical term is called symbolic, but we're just going to say equation. I can represent this equation in a table, I can represent it in a graph, and I can write a verbal description for it. Let's check out the table first. Okay, when I'm doing a table, I just want to choose some values for x, any numbers that I want to. I like to start off with 0, count up to 4. So my numbers for x will be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. What am I going to do with them? Real simple. Plug each one of these numbers into the x or substitute for the right term, and then find your answer for y. So let's start with 0. I'm going to work it out in what's called my process column, okay? So, y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 2 is 0 plus 2, which is equal to 2, okay? So I'm going to put a 2 in the y column. Real simple. Let's do the same thing for 1. y is equal to 2 times 1 plus 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So when x is 1, y is 4. Let's do the same for 2. y is equal to 2 times 2 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. So when y, excuse me, when x is 2, y is 6. Okay? Let's do the same thing for 3. y is equal to 2 times 3 plus 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So when x is 3, y is 8. And then lastly, y is equal to 2 times 4 plus 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. Now, I could have used different numbers, but I decided I wanted to use 0 through 4. So here's my equation. My table for the equation will look something like this. Okay, so remember, we're looking at the equation y equals 2x plus 2. We can represent it in multiple ways. We just completed the table for it, okay? Now, these tables can turn into coordinates. The numbers in the tables can turn into coordinates. So, my first coordinate would be 0, 2, which I have written down here. My second one is 1, 4, which is here. 2, 6, here. 3, 8 and then 4, 10. What do I want to do with these coordinates? To do my next representation, we're going to take these coordinates and graph it on a coordinate plane, okay? All right, so just bear with me, because I know that once I turn the page, I'm going to have to look to the back to look at the coordinates again, all right? Quick review. If we're graphing coordinates, and my first coordinate point is 0, 2, I want to start at the origin. Remember, the first number is left, right, Second number, up or down, okay? I want to start at zero. This is my first ordered pair, and I'm going back and forth saying ordered pair coordinate is zero, two. Start at zero, I'm gonna go up two and pop my point. My second number coordinate point is one, four. Remember, first point, left, right, Second one, up or down. This is your X, this is your Y. So I'm gonna go to one on my X axis, go up to four on my Y axis. Now, remember, I could stop here because it only takes two points to make a line, but I'll do one more for you. Let's do the ordered pair two, six, okay? This is my X, this is my Y, I wanna find two on my x axis, and I want to go up to six. Now, 
Once you have two points or more, you can go ahead and connect your points. I'm gonna get my ruler. Make sure that your line hits all the points, and then you wanna draw your line. Okay, so here's my graph for the equation y is equal to 2x plus 2. Okay, so we got the equation, we did the table, we did the graph. The last way to represent something is through a verbal description. Now, verbal descriptions will change. It depends on the person. My verbal description may not be the same verbal description that you use, okay? So, here's what I wanna use. I'm gonna go back to my first chart paper, okay? Let's say that I wanted my x to be the number of hours that I babysat. Since I do have to babysit my brother and sister now and then, Ugh. okay? And Y is the total amount of money that I earned. How will this translate? It will translate if I said, I already have $2, okay? I get paid $2 for every hour that I babysit, okay? How much money would I receive or I earn if I babysat for 10 hours, okay? So this 10 would go here. Remember, I already have $2 that I saved up. 2 times 10 is 20, 20 plus 2 is 22. So I will have a total of $22. Again, that's an example of my verbal description. You may see something totally different, okay? But remember, in algebra, there are multiple representations. You have the equation, you have the table, you have the graph, and you have your verbal description. I hope this helps you out.